Good morning, staff and students. My name is Leo Castillo. And my name is John Carrestes, and today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. To start off the day, Alex is here with your Today in History. Hello, staff and students. My name is Alex Morningan, and today in history on February 3rd in 2002, the New England Patriots won the first Super Bowl. In February 3rd on 2002, the New England Patriots upset the St. Louis Rams 20-17. Adam Vinatieri, the kicker for the Patriots at the time, scored the 48-yard field goal to win the game for the Patriots. Their coach at the time was Bill Belichick, and they led him to his first Super Bowl ring. Well, let's hop on over to see what Student Council has for us. Hi, everyone. I'm Leo Castillo, your Student Council President. And I'm Maya Phillips, the Vice President of Student Council. Did you miss our last Leonard Hall? Well, no need to worry, because we're having our next one this Friday, February 5th at 11.45 a.m. Write that down. That's right, you're invited to come dance with the rest of the student body. All you have to do is put the code Hillerman Hop into Google Meet. Bring your dance moves and we hope to see you all there. Have a great day. Make sure to be there Friday for some fun. Miss Mancuso is here to reward our teachers with a good call of the week. Good morning, Tony Hillerman. Happy February. I cannot believe that January is, o is already over. Um, and so now it's that time of the morning announcements when we get to acknowledge our teachers who have submitted names for the good call of the week. So before we spin the wheel, we just wanna say congratulations to all the students who did receive a good call of the week for the month of January. That means that you have been working especially hard. Your teachers are acknowledging that and the principals are calling home to tell your parents how great of a job you're doing. So congratulations to those students. The names you see on the wheel right now are the names of all the teachers who submitted students for Good Call of the Week. And we appreciate you teachers and staff for doing that. So I'm gonna spin the wheel to see who will win this month's gift card. Looks like it is Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas, congratulations. Thank you so much for acknowledging our students for the good call of the week. I'll be reaching out to you regarding your prize. So expect an email from me. And again, thank you to all the teachers who are constantly acknowledging all the great things that our students are doing. And students, you guys keep up the great work too. You guys have a great day. Congrats to everyone who got a good call of the week. And if you want to think about something, Jason has the solution. Hello there, THMS. I'm Jason Smith, and today is Would You Rather. Now, would you rather spend the rest of your life colorblind, or would you rather have an eerily annoying ringing in your ear, and it's just always there, you can't really tune it out? I myself would choose the ringing, because I like the colors of the world. They're pretty. Hmm. I'd rather have a ringing in my ear. I'd have to agree. Which one would you guys prefer? Being colorblind or have a ringing in your ear? Did you know there's a dress down day this Friday? Miss Mancuso, tell us more. Good morning, Tony Hillerman, and happy Wednesday. Leo, I'm super excited for you to tell us about this Friday's dress down day. Okay, so this Friday's dress down day is a wear your favorite jersey dress down day. This is mainly because the big Super Bowl game is happening this weekend, but a reminder, your jersey doesn't have to be just football. It could be basketball, baseball, we don't care, as long as it's your favorite jersey. Remember to have fun during this. Let's come together as a community. That's right, staff and students. So this Friday, let's check you got, let's check out your favorite jerseys. Doesn't have to be football. It could be any sport you want. I'm wearing a baseball jersey for the New Mexico soccer team for United. So let's just have fun wearing our favorite jerseys. You guys have a great day. Can't wait to see who all your guys' favorite teams are. We also can't wait to see what's in store for us with the joke of the day. Good morning, THMS. Mr. McIntyre here with today's joke of the day. Two drums and a cymbal fall off a cliff. But Nice one, Mr. McIntyre. I feel like drums falling off a cliff is some kind of symbol. And now, did you know that a dog's hearing is ten times better than a human's? Wow, interesting. But did you know that squirrels actually can plant trees? Squirrels plant thousands of trees each year by forgetting where they put their acorns. They store their acorns in the ground and put the best ones farthest in the ground to save them for sometimes months. 
through that month, they can forget where they put their acorns, which ultimately results in an oak tree. Ryan, give us the mission at THMS. The mission of Tony Hill and Middle School is to prepare students to be compassionate, responsible, contributing members of society who have achieved proficiency in the middle school standards by the time they complete middle school. Well, that's all, folks. Have a great day.